A block of mass 60 kilograms is pulled along a rough horizontal surface with the use of a horizontal rope a distance of 10 meters. The coefficient of friction between the object and the ground is 0 0.5, 0 0.25. Find the work done by each of the forces acting on the object. So we've got block here, it's moving in this direction, 10 meters. The work done by a constant force, we need to look at that first of all, what this actually means, is equal to the force times the displacement in the direction of the force. So that is F times F. So once we find the, the force, we can multiply it by the displacement, which is going to be 10 in this case. Consider a force F acting on a particle of mass M. Suppose that the particle has an initial speed of U meters per second and a final speed of V meters per second. The force acts over a displacement of S meters, S being displacement. So by Newton's second law, we have that F is equal to MA. And as A is a constant, then it obeys these laws of motion. So V squared will be equal to U squared plus 2AS. If we rearrange this for AS, we get that AS will be a half V squared minus a half U squared. And if we multiply by M, everything by M, we get M half M A S is equal to a half M V squared minus a half M U squared. Well, M times A is equal to F, so we get F times S is equal to a half M V squared minus a half M U squared. F S is called the work done, is measured by a unit by joules. And we use the capital J for that. Now, right, if we now return to our original problem, so we have a block here, we have a tension, a friction is rough, and the coefficient of friction is 0 0.25. We've got a weight acting down here, 60 G, and a reaction going upward. So resolving vertically, we have R minus 60 G is equal to 0. R will be equal to 588 newtons if we take G to be 9.8 meters per second squared. Using F is equal to mu times R, the friction is equal to the coefficient of friction times the reaction. We can find the friction acting on the block. So that will be F is equal to 0 0.25, which is the coefficient of friction times the reaction we've just calculated, which is 588, which gives me 148, 47 newtons. Resolving horizontally, so this way now, we're going to have that T minus F is equal to zero. T will be equal to F, and we found that F was 147, so T will be equal to 147 newtons. Now, hence, the work done in this direction, and there's no vertical displacement of the block, so the work done by the weight, mg, and the reaction, r, is equal to zero. Now the displacement in the direction of T is 10 metres, the block is moving along 10 metres, so the work done by the tension is given by Fs, which is 147 times 10, which is going to be 1,470 joules. The displacement in the direction of F, this way, is going to be minus 10, because it's in the opposite direction, so the work done by the friction is going to be F times S, which is 147 times minus 10, which gives me minus 1,470 1, joules. So normally we would say that the 1,470 joules of work done is against the friction.